Good afternoon and welcome to a home plug. Nothing? You, you okay with that? Good with it. All right. <laughs> <laughs> very exciting what we're doing right now. We are reading Jackson's books, every single one of them, 15 times. He loves Christmas books still. He's like still in the Christmas spirit. He loves um, Santa. I, I think it's pretty funny. He loves his eggs. He does he love his eggs. finding his belly button. So we haven't done a home vlog in a little bit. I don't remember even what the last home vlog was. I don't know. I feel like it's been a while, but you have been working with him on his like body parts. Yeah. So like his belly I'm turning button. him into a Frankenstein. <laughs> no. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm teaching him where where his mouth, his eyes, and his belly button are. Buddy. So let's see, buddy. Jackson. Hi, Jackson. You ready? Where's your belly button? Pretty close. Oh. Where's Jackson? Come back over here. We're we're Jackson. we're we're showing everybody how smart you are. Where's, where's your, your mouth? Belly button. Wait. Show your belly button again. Oh, Jackson, where's your belly button? You. Where's your belly button? Yep. <laughs> you, that's Pretty close right. to it. All right, Jackson, where's your mouth? Where's your mouth? No, that's no, your belly that's button. Your where's belly your button. mouth? Oh, oh. Where's your mouth, Jackson? Da, 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 da. Jackson. Da, da. He's too distracted by everything. <laughs> What's over there? Oh, you see your shadow? He's really good at his belly button because mommy thinks it's funny, so <laughs> we do it a lot. Jackson, where's your mouth? That was it. That was it. Where's Jackson, your... where's your mouth? Wait. Oh, you see that? See, mommy's wearing her spirit jersey because it's cold outside and inside. Yeah, it's a little chilly. Yeah, look at that hair. <laughs> so funny. Oh, we can do this. Jackson, you ready? Stomp your, your feet. feet. Stomp, Stomp your feet. Stomp your feet. No, not going to do it now? This is, well, that's your sheep. Thank you. There he goes. Were you stomping your feet? Jackson, will you show mommy where your sheep is? Can I have your sheep? Where's your sheep? Where is it, buddy? Where's your sheep? He was will looking you get at it. For it. Mommy? He was just trying to find his way to it. Where is it, buddy? Oh, is that for mommy? Is that sheep for mommy? <laughs> He's like, bye. He does have it in his hand, though. Can I have it? Will you share with mommy? Oh, thank you so much. That was very nice sharing. All right, so he's really good about his sheep. Let's yeah. see if he can do his horse. Where's Jackson. your horse? I don't even know where his horse is. Throw that sheep at mommy. <laughs> Jackson, where's your horse? Oh, I see it. Where is your horse? There it is. Oh. Nice work, bud. That is so awesome that you found your horse. Can I, can I hold the horse? Will you share with mommy? Oh, thank you. That was very nice of you. Where are you going, bud? <gasps> what is daddy doing? What is that daddy doing? Oh, no, doing? I got a hole in my sock. Don't show the internet. Oh, no. Yeah? All right, this is where it gets exciting. <laughs> are you going to slide down your slide? Are you going to slide down the slide or are you going to go down the stairs? Wow, nice one work. One more step. Oh. <laughs> it's kind of like an abrupt one. <laughs> you did it, though. Watch that last step. It's a doozy. You did it, buddy. Nice job. Do you want your blue egg? <coughs> you do? Okay. <coughs> Another thing that's been happening, though, thank you, is that he's been drooling a ton because he has some molars coming in. So he has one molar up here <coughs> that's actually broken through the skin, broken like through the gum. <coughs> And then he has another molar on the other side that's like about to break through the gum. So he will have three molars here. Buddy, you want to open this? What if we do this? Look. What if we open that? Oh, you did it. Yay. What if we open the blue, the blue one? How about we're, this one? We're teaching him how to escape. <laughs> Isn't that funny? Yeah. Yeah. So. Um, he is 13 and a half months old now. So you're almost gonna be 14 months old very soon, bud. Right. You're gonna be a big buddy. He is very mobile. He just wants to like run everywhere. So it's hard to um, keep him like in his stroller, in his high chair. He's just like, I can walk now and that's all I wanna do. Yeah? Thank you. He loves things that like are kinetic, you know, like things like Things that move. Wheels and stuff. Yeah. You want to hold it? You want your car? Yeah. 
But, um, but yeah, so I just feel like every day is different. He's changing so much every day. Yeah. And whoa, buddy, it's very exciting. This is like a very exciting time, I think, in his like life for everybody, for him, for us. What did you find? What did you find? His puzzle piece. Oh, did you find your yellow? What is your puzzle? What is it, like a yellow square? Did you find your yellow square? You want to put it in here? <laughs> Whoa. Go get your yellow square and put it in here. Are you taking everything out? Whoa. Buddy. Is this your orange circle? Sharing that with Daddy. Where does your orange circle go, Jackson? Jackson. On your green oval. Oh. The green oval is the hardest for him. Put your green oval back where it goes. Where is your. Oh, you're going to stand on it. You want to give it to mommy? Oh, thank you. <laughs> you are so excited. Why don't we put it back where it goes? You want to show everybody? Jackson. And where does your orange circle go? This is your favorite because it's the easiest for you. <laughs> nice yeah. job. That's the sun. All right. And your, your red rectangle? You going to share it with me? Thank you. <laughs> buddy, buddy, you're just so excited. Everything's so exciting. You want to put your red rectangle back where it goes? Yeah, let's put it back. Where does your red rectangle go? Okay, bye. See you later. Where does your red rectangle go, buddy? No, that's the square. Whoops. There you go. There it goes. What do you want to do, bud? You want to open this? He's like, chaos. That's what I want. <laughs> where does your green oval go? Where, do you, where are you going to put it, buddy? Look. Let's put it back on the puzzle. Thank you. Oh. I wanted to give you all an update on the pig. Uh, this penny is defying gravity and holding on for dear life. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> One day we will throw this lemon into a lake, but today's not that day, I don't think. So I also wanted to mention, because I talked about this on my Instagram story, like a few, maybe like a week ago. A pig? Yeah, and a few people were like, what are you, what is this? This is, I, I don't know what you're talking about. This thing looks weird. So I'll link the video down below where we made the lemon pig and i'll link last year's video where we made the lemon pig so you know like what it is yeah but it's for it was our new year's lemon pig and it is a cultural phenomenon now yeah. everybody's all about the lemon pig i saw a bunch of people tagged us in it like um celebrities were making like them. brad paisley's wife yeah and i was like huh i saw it on 70s dinner party it's like a, a twitter account so that's where i found it but um yeah so still waiting on that last penny and we have made up a few rules about the we call it a prosperity pig yeah and the rule that we made up is when the pennies fall out then you have to take the lemon pig and throw it into a lake or else your prosperity will not prosper prosperously <laughs> but you guys did um make some good points you said to pull out the tail and to pull out his little toothpick legs so before we throw it in the lake well why the toothpick legs because like fish might eat them what and that's not good fish don't eat toothpicks they might they might try to eat it okay so pull those out before you throw them in the lake all right for the fish so the day has uh so the day has gotten away from us and it's pretty much dinner time so the little buddy is eating dinner what's he having for dinner today this is like a rotini but it has vegetables in it so it's like a spinach pasta and then it also has some broccoli that we uh steamed up it also has a grilled vegetable pesto oh i wanted to show you guys this so this is something that he really likes it and then we oh okay maybe he doesn't really like it <laughs> oh, no are those too big a bites, Daddy? Those bites are too big, huh? No? Are they okay? I don't know why. Sometimes he just spits stuff out. So this is the grilled vegetable pesto that we use. I use a spoonful of this, and then I mix it with um, a couple spoonfuls of the rouse, I think is how you say it. I, I can't remember. You guys told me how to pronounce it, and I totally forgot. But this marinara. And uh, it turns out, oh, this fridge is so dirty, um, but it turns out to be pretty delicious. And then I'm gonna make dinner for us and we are going to have some takeout style crispy pork katsu with bok choy and Japanese barbecue sauce. A little bit of uh, rice in there. So that's what I'm gonna be making. It looks like, it says it's gonna take 20 to 30 minutes. It never takes 20 to 30 minutes for me. It always takes like at least an hour for me to make these. I don't know like how they come up with this time frame, but I can never stick to that time frame. I don't know, just everything just takes me a little bit longer. So I don't know, is that just me? Do you guys do the same thing? So I started making dinner and I totally forgot to show you guys what I was doing. Sorry, I'm a little rusty at the cooking vlogs, but I made some sushi rice. So that is just sitting here keeping warm in the pan and the pot. I quartered and washed my little baby bok choy 
I have my breading station going for, um, I need to butterfly the pork still and flatten it out a little bit and then we're gonna get it all ready to be fried. And then I had a whole bunch of scallions that I separated and thinly sliced the light green part and white part and then I kept the ends, like the dark green part, separate. And then I have some garlic. What are these guys doing? Ooh, look at this. What are these little buddies doing? We're gonna change our diaper. We are. All right, I've got my pork ready to be fried. I am cooking up my bok choy with the scallions and the garlic. I don't know about you guys, but whenever they say to use garlic in a recipe, I always like triple the amount because I really love garlic. So this is probably like a tablespoon of garlic rather than like a teaspoon of garlic. So <laughs> it's gonna be real garlicky, but it smells delicious. All right, I got my pork frying. It's almost done. Um, I have my bok choy. I'm leaving it in the microwave just so it can stay kind of like warm in there. Um, I tried a little bit of it. It's delicious. Just the right amount of garlic. And I'll show you dinner in just a second. Dinner is served. What do well, you think? It's really good. I thought you would like it. I knew you would. And <laughs> this is what you normally order when we do like Japanese food. Yeah. So. Um, the barbecue sauce is a little bit different looking on the picture that they sent us, but it tastes pretty good. So, Chexy, did you already have your Denny's? Oh, it's pretty good. Yeah. You did? You want to watch Puppy Dog Pals? Is that what's happening? Yes. Okay, let's do it. We're going to have our little dinner. We'll let you know what we think when we're done. Let me, let me have one little bite right now. Okay. Mm, nice and crunchy. Mm. Good? That is delicious. Is it? Yeah. Thanks. Oh, you want to try some? We can probably give you some of the rice. I think the other stuff might be too crunchy. Do you like it, buddy? You got rice on your chin. Oh. Uh oh. All right. Just wanted to let you guys know what we thought of dinner. It was delicious. Uh, the only thing that I wasn't a huge fan of was the rice, just because it was just plain old rice. No, they, there was like a scallions. ton of scallions on it. <laughs> Like 50,000 scallions on it. That's what it said to do. <laughs> but, but other than that, the, the bok choy was delicious. And the, um, what's the pork was good. The pork katsu was really good. And the, the barbecue sauce. sauce was really, yeah, really good. Yeah, that like made it. And then I'll show you guys the mess that I made in the kitchen because I have to clean that up now. But um, I feel like whenever you fry something, like fried pork cutlets or like fried chicken or, you know what I mean? Like, because I had to pound it out. I had to do my little like fry station, my like batter station, and then I had to let it sit on like a plate with paper towels. I just feel like I used 50,000 plates. And then- You getting tired, bud? Is it almost bedtime, buddy? Yeah. And for dessert, we had some of our Gideon's cookies. I think you ate all yours. Well, yeah, of course. I still have, I eat like this much of a cookie in a day. So like a quarter of a cookie? Yeah, so I have like five more days of cookies left. Yeah, because you have a whole nother cookie. I know. After that one that you just held up. I know, because you ate, you literally ate your whole cookie in like two bites. Oh well, yeah. Well, yeah. So this is the other cookie that I have. The one that I just showed you is my, my coffee one from yesterday's video. But look at that. That's that pistachio toffee. It is so good. It's real good. I think the pistachio just like really makes it. I think that it's also much better what? after it's been in like the fridge. After it's been in the fridge, yeah. yeah so they have a hot cookie hour and I thought about sending a message to them and being like, you guys should have a cold cookie hour too. <laughs> yeah. Like first thing in the morning, just put the cookies in the refrigerator from the day before. I don't think that they have cookies from the day before, do you? No, I don't think so, but I'm saying do that. They probably give them to their employees. Right, but I'm saying do that and sell them to me. Just to you. Yeah. Okay. We'll set up a system where I come in there first thing in the morning and just buy your cookies. You got the hiccups, buddy? You so know why you have the hiccups? Because we were laughing. Because you were laughing at what? What was so funny? What was mommy doing? Yo! Yo! <laughs> were we fake having hiccups? Yo! Yo! So Yo! 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 <laughs> also, I wanted to let every- ah! ah! That's what you were doing with him. Ah! 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 Yeah. Uh, I've been doing my push-ups still. Oh yeah. Did 19 ah! push-ups today. When did you do them? I didn't see you. I, before my shower. Oh. You want me to do them again? 
Yeah. <laughs> do 19 more push-ups. So I haven't started, and you did the math the other day. I think I have to do like 200 push-ups or something. <laughs> it was like 154 <laughs> yeah. when yesterday. And now there's 20 more, so, yeah. oh my gosh. 19 more. Buddy, you have to do like 200 push-ups today. What's that face? <coughs> oh, oh, bless you, buddy. Did I get rid of your hiccups? Ah! Ah! Nope. So I wanted to show you the huge mess that I made from dinner, but I totally cleaned up already. I forgot to show you guys the, my, my mess that I made. So this baby buddy is getting ready for bed too. Oh, some people said we should take him out of this swaddle because he'll sleep better if he can use his hands. We tried that, it didn't work. But also he can use his hands on this swaddle. It's like, yeah. it's. I know you can't really tell right now, but it's super loose. It's like a, buddy. It's, you know what it basically is like a blanket. Yeah. So it's, it's not safe to, I know you don't want to go to sleep, but it's, it's bedtime. It's not safe to put a blanket in the crib yet because I think they say that you should wait until, actually months, I think, the so. website that I read said that there was no safe age, which is crazy to me. Like when, when did they get blankets? Like when did you give your kids blankets? Yeah, that's a good question. When I they, still when, don't, my parents still haven't given me a blanket yet. So. Is it when they go, like when he goes into a big boy bed when or? He goes to college? Yeah, here's your first blanket. Yeah. So this is basically like a blanket for him too yeah. that's not going to like go above his head and cause any kind of scary Issues. moments. Yeah, so. Yeah. Yeah, we keep a light here, Oh yeah, by the way. Because <laughs> the lighting in our house is so bad. So we have this from when we sit down on the couch. Oh, oh, and we took the Christmas tree down. We forgot to tell you guys. Yeah. It was very sad. Truth be told. What? There wasn't very much footage from me taking down the Christmas tree because I started taking down the Christmas ornaments, Yeah. did a time lapse, and then he woke up halfway through that. <laughs> so I had to stop the time lapse. And then I just took the rest down uh, without time lapsing it because oh. there was going to be a space. Ding, so ding. all that there's going to be now is a very short time lapse and then me turning off the Christmas lights. So oh. here it is. Christmas is over now. Oh no. <laughs> all right, be right back. Taking all of the ornaments off the Christmas tree, and we're down to that fateful moment. You ready? Oh, it's so dark over here now. Christmas is over. Hi. Where are we? We are in our filming room, which is also my like getting ready, my makeup area as well. Mm -hmm. And it's just like another like a guest room basically, but we turned it into like a little studio. So we used to film our podcast here. Right. This was our podcast section. This is where we used to do our live shows. Um, and we did this whole thing where we tried to make it look nice behind us and you couldn't see any of this. During like, the live shows. Yeah, but then we, if we did sit down videos, we would sit here in front of this coffee table. Right. And then you could see it. So what we were thinking, what I was thinking is, I want to get back into doing podcasts. We talked about this on our uh, New Year's Eve video, which is also the same video that we talked about the lemon pig. So okay. save, that'll, that'll be down below. Um, but what I was thinking was when we do our podcast, so I like the idea of having like the creepy background. I think that's a cool background because of the kind of podcast that we did. We would talk about different, like not creepy things, but like not theme park stuff, you know? Yeah. But I was also thinking, I love the way this looked behind us when we did our sit down videos. Right. And I would like to move our podcasting area to where this like, so we have this sheet up because it was um, like bouncing the light for us. So, all right. So these lights are too harsh to just shine straight on us. Mm -hmm. So I bounced them off this white sheet in order to create a more even light. And you can right. see it's, it's, it's like a perfect light in here. I can't see anything. Well, is yeah. It? I mean like you, the, this side of your face is, is shaded, but if you were facing that way, Right, like if we, when we did our sit down, like, yeah. yeah, hello, it would look like this. So what I was thinking was we would move our table where we did our podcasting stuff mm -hmm. to where the sheet is. Right. And then behind the sheet, so some of you may have already seen this, some of you may have not ever seen this. This is where like my makeup table is. And so when I was filming videos for my channel, this is where I would film them. Right. But I was thinking that we could move this 
to this wall right where the podcasting stuff is are we taking down that sheet i think we have to take it down okay yeah i don't know that i mean i guess it could go behind this it doesn't matter right like that would be like no biggie okay i don't know what do you think it doesn't matter to me whatever you want yeah to do. that's fine because i don't know when i'm going to make videos again on my channel i would like to but i just don't know it's hard to find time to like do our videos every single day edit our videos every single day have an infant <laughs> and then try to get back into podcasting. It's just, it's tough to find the time. There are so many times where I'm like, oh, I could do this as a video. Oh, I could make this video, but I just never ever film them. Right. So I would like to say that I will get back into it one day, but I just, I don't know when I will ever do it. Right. But I do have a ton of things like this, this whole, this right here. Um, this was supposed to be like a thing that I was gonna put on the wall <laughs> that I never did. But these are all empties. I was gonna film an empties video. I think that was the last thing I talked about in my on my Jen Does It channel. Um, and I'll link my channel down below if you wanna see the videos that I have made. You can check those out. But I was gonna talk about all of the um, makeup, skincare, like lifestyle items that I used completely up and then talk about whether I would repurchase them again, if they were worth the money, like that kind of a thing. Um, so I did save everything. I just never made the video. Right. So, I don't know. Maybe That's I can... 2021, baby. <laughs> yeah, That was like 2019, I think. That was 2017, baby. <laughs> so, I don't know. What do you think? What do you think if we move this, all of this, mm -hmm. if we move all of this here, Okay. take this down, because we won't need this up anymore, right? Well, I would just put it against the wall. Like, I would put it up on the wall. Okay. Because so this is like a yellow wall. Oh, so it'll make us so, like yellow. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. So then we will push this back, mm -hmm. and then we will put this table, our podcasting setup, which looks kind of silly, but that's our podcasting setup. And oh, yeah. we will put that right here. It's dusty right now because we haven't podcasted in so long, and there's just Lego on it. <laughs> yeah. So but, this is um one of our friends actually got you this for your birthday, maybe. I think it was just like, hey, here I got just this. Just because, yeah. yeah. But it's the Legoland, like entranceway. Yeah, it's not quite done yet. Yeah, but. no, we never finished it. We got to finish it. But um, but yeah, and then we would have this as like our background. Oh yeah, back there. So, so the lights would then move kind of up against this wall. It'll probably make the room a lot bigger and easier to use. I think so, because that's one other thing about this room is that you cannot get around. Right. It's like an obstacle course because you have like all these lighting things. Like there's just too much stuff in here. Yeah, so these the this light that's not turned on right now could move and there's another one that's just like it, like right up here against the wall and it would just bounce off this white sheet that's on the wall. Yeah. And then the hair light that's kind of like this tall one back here would just kind of be over against the wall and hanging over this I like, way. I envy people who just have good lighting in their house. Right. Because if we just had good lighting in our house, we wouldn't need all of this. But yeah, that's what I would like to do for this room because I think it would make more sense for what we want to do. And I'll link a video down below where we did a sit down video where this was the backdrop. So you yeah. have an idea of what it will look like when we do our podcast. I just think it'll look so much nicer. Yeah. So that's what we wanted to do for this room. I kind of wanted to do it tonight. Well, we'll do it tomorrow. You don't think we could do it tonight? I don't want to do it tonight. All right. So we'll do that in tomorrow's video. We're gonna have another home vlog tomorrow. Um, and I think we're gonna do some more fun stuff around the house. Oh, and I wanted to show them what you did in the bathroom. So this bathroom, aside from this shelf, which is gonna go uh, over the toilet, I guess. Well, so what my plan was, I had so many big plans last year. I wanted to replace this little vanity because mm -hmm. it's so weird to have such a large amount of space between the vanity and the toilet, mm -hmm. but this should have had a double vanity. Yeah, there's like a ton of space right here. Right, so we used to have a table in here. And then, I don't know what we did with the table, but it's- It's in Jackson's bathroom. Oh, right, because we needed it for like his towels and stuff. Because that also has a little vanity. So what we were thinking is we would put a double vanity in here. Mm -hmm. And then we would get like the bigger mirror and do the whole thing. Um, but we haven't done that yet. So, no. <laughs> so eventually when we do that, where would this go? This would go here? Yeah, it would go over top of the toilet. But then, okay, so now I'm not a boy, but if you're using the toilet, is that too like in your face? No, it's just like the one that's in the bathroom downstairs. Yeah, this one comes out pretty far. Cause remember we were gonna use this in the bathroom downstairs and then we didn't because it was like 
Like when you were going to the bathroom, it was like gonna hit you in the face. Pretty big. <laughs> it's a lot bigger than I thought it was gonna be. So I think it could go somewhere else. It doesn't have to go in this bathroom. Right. It could go, it's it's just like one of those could go anywhere type of, you know, shelves. Mm -hmm. But my original thought was that it would go here. So we had somewhere to put things in this bathroom. Right. Um, but if we're going to eventually put a bigger vanity in here, mm -hmm. you know, I don't know. So would it be a double sink or would it just be like countertop over here? Cause you don't need two sinks in this little bathroom, right? Yeah, I think it could just be a countertop. Okay. Yeah, just more space. And then we would still use like, we bought this new um, like faucet and stuff. We bought this new lighting fixture. But then remember when we stayed at the Hilton and we saw those cool mirrors with the lights in them, would we get mm -hmm. those? Sure. Okay. I mean, I'd rather put those in our bathroom. I mean, we can, yeah. I just feel like all of the bathrooms should have the same mirror. I don't know. So we have all these ideas for the house, which we were going to do last year. Um, and we probably should have done them last year when we were like stuck in the house all the time. But well, we had a newborn. That's true. Yeah. So you did finish painting this bathroom, which yeah. is fantastic. Done. Yeah. I'm, I'm happy about that. And then right as soon as I finished, what did you say? When it, oh, I said, is it too pink? <laughs> she says, is it too pink? I don't think it is. No, I don't think it is either. I like it. I think it looks pretty nice. Yeah. And then eventually, another thing that we want to do. Oh, goodness. Okay, so this, this is room. a scary room. This, this we live, like, this is how we live. <laughs> this is the guest bedroom. It's just full of everything. So the painting from the Festival of the Arts is in here. And it's going to go in here one day, like, up on the wall. But right now, this is where we keep all of our, these are all of our giveaway items. So this is stuff that we had purchased or stuff that was um, given to us from like media events right. that we wanted to do like giveaways with. And we never did. Right. And then this is all, I don't even know. This is all <laughs> uh, like some of Jackson's stuff. Uh -huh. I don't know why our sleeping bags are out. Well, because I think we were, we were trying to get to something else. Because this closet, I'm not even gonna open it, is just like full to the brim of stuff. So, um. I got too much stuff. Yeah, I don't even know where all this stuff came from. And then we have stuff like this where I'm like, do we keep this just in case we could use it again? Do we donate it? Do we try to sell it? Like, what do we do? And then we have like bandits stuff down here. These are all of bandits blankets that I, I just cannot like get rid of right yet. I'm, I'm not at that place yet to do that. Mm -hmm. Everything is such a chaotic mess right now. Yeah, and, and we have to we have to empty out this room eventually because we're gonna redo it. So yeah, and like this table used to be over where Jackson's play area is and we had to move the table because it was just taking up too much space in his play area. But I, I don't know what we're gonna do with the table now. I know, and I don't know what we're gonna do with his old like carrier that he doesn't fit into anymore. Car seat. It's just, there's so much stuff. This is all the conversion stuff for... For his bed to turn into like a big boy bed, his crib. Mm. So yeah, so it's just very, like we're being, this is real. This is how we live. <laughs> we're, we're not like those organized. We are full to the brim. Yeah. I wish that we were like one of those organized, you know, the people that you see on like Instagram that are like, look at my organized pantry. Look at my organized life. That's not I us. I have a hard time throwing stuff out, I think. I don't want to throw anything away. I'd, I'd much rather donate things to people that could use them. Right. But I also don't know... What do you do with stuff like this? Like, when we bought Jackson's uh, conversion seat, like the one that goes from, like, after he came out of this one, mm -hmm. now he's in the one that's in the car right now. Right. This was an insert for when he was this size. To go in that one because you could use it as like your take home from right. the hospital. The big one that he's in right now? Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's, it goes from infant all the way up to 50 pounds as the max. Wow. Um, okay. But like he never used this because as soon as we got it, he was already... He was too big. He was too big for it. So, I mean, for me personally, and this might be like, like a... I know, it looks like a little guy. Like, so here's like a little spoiler. We are hoping to possibly think about maybe trying to have another baby. And right. so I don't want to get rid of certain things because like, if we have another baby, we could use this. If we have another baby, we could use this. We could use this. So that is the little secret. Is it a secret? I mean, you just told everybody. We never really talked about it with them. Yeah. So yeah, so our life is a mess. <laughs> it's true. It is. Our life is pure chaos all the time. So yeah, so there's our, our dirty little secret is that we are our, our whole life is a mess. It's true. It'll never be like packaged up 
neatly and nicely like other vloggers <laughs> or just other people in general, you know? Right. And so I wish it was though. Like, I wish we were those people. I wish we were organized. I wish that our, like, I just wish that everything was, how long have we lived here? A couple of years. I just, most people, their house is done. Right. Our, you know what I mean? And we're like, eh, we'll do it one day. I think we need to have like, we just need to have more home vlogs. So we can have a less chaotic life. <laughs> can, I, can I show them the garage? Oh yeah, oh my gosh, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the garage. So our garage is actually pretty clean. It's, it's very like organized. We have everything in its little spot. We have all this stuff up here. But right before we were leaving to go where? To... Was it to Bay Lake? Yeah. Was it? Yeah. Like literally right before we were leaving, like we had everything in the car. <laughs> this shelf fell off the wall. Yeah. And everything that was on the shelf fell off the wall. And if you had been out here, like, like not even a minute, like you had just walked inside and the shelf fell. This could have killed you. It couldn't have killed me. It would have hurt. Was, there was some heavy stuff on there. I feel like it would have hit you in the head. It could have killed you. Yeah, it was maybe. really like a scary moment, but it just, everything fell. It actually yeah. hit the car, but because the trunk was open, didn't cause any damage because it hit the inside of the car. So we, it was a very lucky thing that happened because A, you were not out here. It didn't hit you in the head. Um, and B, it didn't hit the car and damage it. So we, like it was, it was fine. Everything was fine. But it just like fell out of the wall. Yeah. <laughs> so the guy that lived here before us, he just didn't put it into any studs. Yeah. And so then we Which were Which like, is okay. You can do that, but... And not in the garage. Well, this is such a wide shelf. You need to have a better anchoring system than like these cheapo little like hollow wall anchors that come with right. this style of, you know... So we're gonna put it back up, but we're just gonna put it back up like right. Yeah, I'm gonna use some. I'm gonna use some toggle bolts, like Molly bolts. Okay. To hold it in the wall better, because there were a lot of anchors. Like you can see, there's a lot of holes in the wall. Right. And I'm gonna. I might put new holes in the wall. I don't know. I'm gonna figure it out. I think it's fine. It's the garage. I'm not like worried about it. Right. You know, but I just like. It was such a like frantic moment. We were literally leaving. We were getting in the car to leave and we're like, what do we do? Like, right. Do we? <laughs> and I just go, we'll deal with it when we come home. <laughs> um, and then we just never dealt with it. Right. So we need to do that. So there's like the long list of things that we need to do around the house. Oh, there's more. What? What else? We got like letters from the HOA about our mailbox. Oh yeah. We need I to have paint. to repaint our mailbox. <laughs> we have to paint our mailbox. Um, and we need to pressure wash the outside of the house because there was like, because there's so much like rain in Florida, it, you get like little like mildew, I guess, or whatever. Yeah. Like on the outside of your house. There's two tiny spots of mildew that I have to clean off. So we need to pressure wash the outside of the house. Um, but yeah, I don't know. It was, there's just so much that we need to do. Yeah. And I feel like we just, I don't know. I don't know why we went on this long like journey with you guys to tell you all the stuff we need to do, but that's everything. That's everything, baby. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, I just kind of want to sit down for a second. <laughs> okay. And then go to bed. I feel like whenever I do this, because I'm the one that's always like, we should do this, we should do this, we should do this. I think just talking about it exhausts you. Yeah. And you're like, okay, we talked about it. Now let's go to bed. And I'm right. like, no, wait, we need to do it. I will, we will, <laughs> we'll rearrange the filming room tomorrow. Yeah. For sure. I might even paint the mailbox tomorrow. I think we have to because they're going to find us. Right. So. Um, I have to do it before the end of the month, I think. But so. You know what's really funny, though, is that everybody got the letters because um, when, when we got the letter, we literally saw so many people in the neighborhood were getting their houses painted. And painting and their mailbox. pressure washing their driveway yeah. and painting their mailbox. And so I think it's just, I think it was that time of year. Yeah. So the HOA um, needed a needed a bump in their budget. Yeah, they're like you're getting fined. <laughs> so um that is one thing living in Florida, a lot of neighborhoods are HOA neighborhoods. Yeah. And it stinks. Yeah. That's like I miss not living in an HOA. So do whatever you want to. You really can, but then that also means that your neighbors can do whatever they want to. So if they want to like not mow their lawn or paint their house like 
neon red (laughs) you know what i mean like it's they can do that too so it's like a little bit of give and take Mm -hmm. um but thank you guys so much for like watching this video and hanging out with us i feel like it was kind of a a weird video i thought it was great (laughs) yeah we just told you everything that we needed to do around the house i just made 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 a made a long list of things like here's our chores (laughs) also we need to clean the bathrooms (laughs) we do need to clean the bathrooms but um, I also feel really good that we told you guys that we want to live in live in rubble. <laughs> no, I think like I I like our house a lot. I'm very happy with our house, and I'm very happy with um, how it could look. And I think that it we're getting there. You know, like we're we just yeah, need to slowly take slowly but surely. We just need to take the time. And so I think that's something that that's one of my goals for 2021 is to take the time to make our house. A place where like I want to hang out okay. and like be and it'll like look how I want it to look okay you know what I mean so yeah <laughs> so yeah it's just tough with a baby to juggle everything right um, and with with the videos and stuff it's hard to juggle all of that but I'm also happy that we told you guys that we are thinking about having another baby oh yeah like that's there's a lot like it, it's it's not we haven't started yet. Well, so I, I need to do some doctor's appointments just to make sure everything's cool and like everything is, you know, a okay and, yeah. and all that good stuff. Um, and then we can really seriously start like really trying. Right. So, um, I don't know. That's exciting. It's something that we have been talking about for a while now. So, um, we're sharing it with you guys. We're very excited. Who knows if it'll happen? You know, it took us so long to for Jackson to come into the world right so um it's you know it may not ever happen who knows but it is something that we are really hoping might happen yeah so you never know send us all your positive thoughts we would appreciate it yeah yeah so all in all a fantastic day (laughs) and with that being said we are off we'll see you all tomorrow and now it's time to pay the price (laughs) 